The search underway for the tourist submarine went missing on that trip to the wreck of the Titanic. Ashley Webster following the story. All right, Ash, how much time till the air runs out? That's a very good question, but I would say less than 50 hours, maybe by some time Thursday. So, it, you know, the race is on. It's believed that the truck-sized vessel probably has about 50 hours of oxygen left. I would say maybe slightly less. The Boston Coast Guard, which is coordinating with uh, the search with Canadian authorities, says, look, the vast remote area is a huge challenge. Take a listen. Well, Sandra, this is a, uh, a very complicated problem. First, because it's uh, out there in, in uh, not quite the middle of the ocean, but near the middle of the ocean, a remote part of the ocean, 900 miles away from our uh, coast uh, here in Massachusetts. And we have to assume that, uh, uh, you know, anything is possible at, at this point. So the missing sub, operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions, a private company founded by businessman and adventurer Stockton Rush, who is also believed to be on board the missing sub. The company charges $250,000 a ticket to allow tourists to explore the Titanic's wreckage. Also on board, British billionaire Hamish Harding. Uh, uh, Harding paid for a space ride, by the way, aboard the Blue Origin rocket last year. He's a true adventurer. Also on board, a Pakistani businessman, uh, Shazada Dawood, and his son, also reportedly on the vessel. They are British citizens, by the way. An aerial search is being conducted just in case the sub has surfaced but has no way of communicating. A remotely operated vehicle or ROV that can reach depths of 20,000 feet also expected to be deployed. Of course, all thoughts now on the missing crew. I would say it's, it's, it's getting limited and probably a pretty dire, dire situation. It's going to be a very, uh, very uncomfortable, dark experience with a lot of hope and prayers. Uh, Ocean Gate has said it relies, by the way, on Elon Musk's Starlink to provide internet and a communications connection. It's unclear whether communications have played any role in the sub going missing. We're also just learning, Stu, that a pipe laying ship, a commercial ship, uh, is on the scene. That's important because it has two remotely operated vessels that can go to extreme depths. So maybe that can provide a clearer picture of what's going on. But that's good news as this search goes on. Yes, it is indeed. All right, Ash, thanks very much indeed.